Good evening. Welcome back to JPCE Special Talk. It's Jared Kemble. So this evening we start James chapter 4. We talk about lack of faith and works. Quarrels within the church. But before we get to our reading, which will be just the first 10, 10 verses this evening, we're going to open up the opening prayer. We're going to ask the Lord, and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We're going to ask the Lord to shine to hearts of loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge. And open the eyes of our mind. That we may understand your teachings in Scripture, help us to apply what we learn, so that through having conquered civil desires, we may pursue a spiritual way of life, thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you are Christ, your God, you are light. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, in this ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. And to forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, endless ages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. All right, good evening. Welcome back. So great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So this evening, James, chapter 4, the first 10 verses. Lack of faith and works. Quarrels. Right? Wars and fights and arguments within the church. So starting here, James chapter 4, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasures that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have. Because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss. That you may spend it on your pleasures. Adulterers and adulteresses. Do not know that friendship with the world is enemy with God. Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world. Makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that, that the scripture says in vain. The spirit who dwells in us earns jealousy. But he who gives. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse, you, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The lack of faith and works. Quarrels in the church. So wars and fights. Let's talk about wars and fights in the church. So wars and fights in the church are another example of the result of what faith without works. Does that make sense? Such disputes come from what the desires for the pleasures that war in our members. Let's look at verse... Okay, verse 1. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasures that war in your members? Passions that bring what disruption in the body of Christ. These passions are fragmenting. Right there in verse 1 we just read. Self-centered, verse 3. Verse 3. You ask and do not receive because you ask and miss that you may spend it on your pleasures. And also of this world, verse 4, energized, what, by Satan, and verse 7. Verse 7, it says, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. And therefore, what, at enemy with God, verse 4. God does not answer prayers for our selfish what desires. That was verse 3. You ask and do not receive, because you ask and miss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. Adulterers and adulteresses. The image of unfaithfulness in marriage is common what throughout the Old Testament for the faithfulness of God's people. So how do we conquer the arrogant pleasure seeking? Right? Verse, talking about verses 2 and 3. And, and also verse 1. So verse 1, verse 2, and verse 3. So how do we conquer arrogant pleasure seeking? What? First, stop praying for what? Self-centered pleasures. Right? That's in verses 2 and 3. Second, what renounce the world and build a what a friendship with God. That was in verse four. So verse four was adulterers and adulteresses, 
do not know that friendship with the world is enemy with God. So what build a friendship with God? All right, right there in verse 4. Build a friendship with God. Nextly, yield what the Holy Spirit who dwells in us through chrismation. Verse 5. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain the spirit who dwells in us earns jealousy? So also talking about what chrismish, chrismation. John chapter 3 is a good read. It's a good read to read. It talks about baptism and chrismation. Right? The conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus. All right, nextly. So we're talking about there in chrismation. When it's seeking the Holy Spirit, we gain what the Holy Trinity. Be humble, what recognizing that God resists the proud. That was in verse 6. But he, give, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud. And then what? Gives grace to the humble. So God resists the proud. Resist, be insubordinate, what to Satan, and submit to God in verse 7. Approach God in worship, what draw near. Take special care to what cleanse your hands and what purify your hearts. Through repentance and preparation, what for, ver for worship. Verses 8 and 9. Never laugh off God's call to mourn what? For sin. Right? Right here. Here's a quote. The rewards for the toils of virtue are dispassion and spiritual knowledge. For these are the meditators of the kingdom of heaven. Just as passion and arrogance are the meditators of eternal punishment. It is because of this that he who seeks these rewards for the sake of human glory and do not for their answer to goodness is rebuked by the words of scripture. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly. Maximus, the confessor, said that. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So tomorrow morning, we're going to finish up James chapter 4. We're going to read Criticizing Others, verses 11 through 12. And then we're going to read Being Overly Confident. That'd be verses 13 and 17. So we'll finish up James chapter 4 tomorrow morning. All right. So thank you all again for following. So so I'm thinking about after we finish the book of James, which we don't have a whole lot more to go. I'm going to start doing like a like daily devotionals. So they're really quick. Uh, just a really quick reading and discussion. And I kind of like what we're doing now. I'm just going to continue that. It's been a little easier on me. You know, I'm getting ready to start school. So I'm just going to continue these short little readings, discussions. Right. And I'm going to, after we finish James, I'm just going to try and turn kind of create like a daily devotional, right? And that's what we're going to do. It's really quick, right? And it's really good study. We're, we're getting the word in. So thank you all again for following. It means a lot. I hope you're enjoying these reads, these discussions. Anybody have any questions, please, please ask a question, all right? Thank you all so much for following. And close out in prayer. In the, name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, God, you spoke to us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having to blame this life and conduct without reproach in Christ the Lord. And to you we give glory, you are alive. The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. In the sages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. So forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not and temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both out and forever, endless ages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good evening. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. All right, continue to go in peace. Thank you all for following. Remember, continue to seek him. All right, give him your heart. Right? He does the rest. All right, build that relationship. Right, get closer to God. What what we were just reading tonight, right? I was talking about drawing closer to God. Right, must draw close to God. Right, especially the times that we're heading into. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make His face shine upon you, be merciful to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages, Amen. Chair Wesley Campbell.
Good evening, good day, good night, good afternoon, good morning, whenever and however these messages, these reflections find you all. Thank you all so much. JPCE Special Talk, Jerry Campbell. No excuses, right? Seek him. Right? Build that relationship with your creator. Love you all so much.